We can present the solutions to selected Homebook problems part 4. So the first problem is the following one. So let's find the limit of the integrals. Okay, so clearly we would like to pass the limit under the integral sign. And to do that, we can use one of the theorems. So first let's analyze the integrand. So we define the function n f on of x okay, as a ratio 1 over 1 plus x over n to the power n. So clearly, for every n and for every point x from the interval 0 to 1, this function f on fn of x is non-negative and also is bounded above by 1. Okay, So that means that we can apply the bounded convergence theorem. So by this theorem, we can pass the limit under the integral sign. So to find the limit of the uh, integrands, of the sequence of integrands, uh, let me recall you that the exponential function, so e of, of x, is defined as the limit n goes to infinity of very simple expression, 1 plus x over n to the power n. So in this case, as you can see, okay, for every point from the unit interval, f n of x converges to the exponential function e of, to the power minus x. Okay. So in this case, the integral of the limit equals the integral of the exponential function, which is equal to, as we know, 1 minus 1 divided by e. The next problem is very similar to the previous one. Again, to find the limit of integrals, we'd like to use one of the convergence theorem and then pass the limit sign under the integral sign. So in this case, uh, the sequence of uh, integrands is a sequence of step functions. Okay, so let's plot the functions and then write them as a piecewise function, each of them. Okay, uh, so first, the first observation is that the sequence of integrands is actually is unbounded, right? Since n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. So therefore, we cannot use the bounded convergence theorem. Okay, let's try to apply the dominated convergence theorem. So in this case, we need to find some function gfx so that for every n, for every x from the interval 0 to 1, we have that function fn of x is dominated by gfx above and below is dominated by 0. And then if gfx is integrable function, then we can pass the limit onto the integral sign. Um, so let's suppose that g of x is a power function. And let's try to find uh, the coefficients a and b so that the g of x dominate all integrands, fn. So clearly g of x has to be a decreasing function. So the spot goes something like that. And then if you dominate fn at the point 8 over n cube, then g will dominate fn at every point from 0 to 1. Okay, So let's move g of x as close as possible to fn. So in this case, they will intersect the plots they will intersect at, at this point. Okay, So let's find a and b so that g of 8 over n cube equals fn at 8 over n cube equals n. So now we need to solve the phone equation for two coefficients a and b. And so that it, and of course it, it should be valid for every natural n. Okay, so now what we have we have that a times eight to the power b times n to the power minus three b equals n. Okay, so it's possible if and only if a times 8 to the power b equals 1 and minus 3b equals 1. Okay, so it's possible if b is minus 1 third and a is actually is just 2. 
So in this case, g of x is the following function. So it's 2 divided by x to the power of 1 fifth. Right? So that function will dominate fn of x. Dominate above. Again, for every n and for every x. Okay, so clearly this function is integrable. So if you compute the integral, we can just up compute the demon integral, and the integral is finite and is equal to 3. So therefore, we can apply the dominated convergence theory. Okay, so in this case, what will happen? Uh, we can pass the limit under the integral sign. So let's find the point-wise limit of these functions. So clearly, for every x from the open interval from 0 to 1, you can find n so that 8 over n cubed is less than x. Okay, just using again Archimedes principle. That means that fn of x converges to 0. So the point-wise limit is 0. And then the integral of 0 is 0, so therefore the answer will be just zero. Again, we'd like to compute the limit of integrals. And um, so clearly the first step is to get rid of, of n and it can be done by applying a change of variables. Okay, so let's u is n times x and in this case okay, equals again integral from zero to infinity. And now we have u times e to the power of minus u squared divided by 1 plus u over n squared du. Okay. And then let's denote this integral by fn of u. And then clearly as n goes to infinity 1 plus u to the power of n squared goes to the uh, goes to one. So the pointwise limit of the sequence is just a product of u and the exponential function e to the power of minus u squared. Okay, which we denote by g of u. And also it's clearly that for every u from interval zero to infinity the sequence fn of u is dominated by function g of u. Okay. The next observation is that this function g of u is integrable. So therefore we can again apply the dominated convergence theory. Okay, so in this case again we can pass the limit onto the integral sign. Right? And the point of last limit is the function u times e to the power of minus u squared du. And clearly, the value of this integral is 1 divided by 2.